And let's get into another Finance Friday. Great to have uh, First Ontario Senior Manager of Business Services, Colin Sear, back on the show. Continuing our discussion around small businesses because last month when you were on, we were talking about having those conversations for small businesses with your bank. Now let's get into what type of conversations those need to be. For sure, yeah. There's a number of important conversations that are happening, but the one we're going to lean in today is the, the financing chat. So, so the one you're having when, as a business, you're looking to borrow some money, maybe you want to purchase a property, some equipment inventory, working capital, whatever it is, getting that conversation right and uh, you know, ensuring you come with your ducks in a row, it's really going to increase your likelihood of success and there's some key things you can keep in mind uh, to that end. Okay, so let's get in, what are, what are some of the things that you need to kind of know? For sure. So uh, the lender or the banks in the, in the you know, business of lending, they want to see you succeed, but they're coming from a risk lens. So you got to keep that in mind. So have a story, have a coherent plan. Why are you in business? What are you trying to accomplish and how are you going to get there? If you can articulate clearly that you know, you know your market, you know your, your customers, your products, services, maybe even thought of contingency, what's gonna, what am I going to do if things go sideways? It's going to show you did your homework, you're, you're serious about this ask, and, and the, the bank will honor that. What kind of presentation do you have to? Does it need to be a PowerPoint presentation? <laughs> do you have to have do or just your documents out? Is it kind of like a dragon's den type yeah, style where you're standing in front yeah. of a number of the people? The bigger the spectacle, the better, really, right? <laughs> no, it can be simple, but yeah. uh, it, it, the simple things are often the hardest, and, and people overlook them, right? What about, what about new businesses? New businesses, you know, those were tougher to deal with. You often want to come in with a bit of uh, personal equity, showing that, you know, you've put an investment in off the get-go. Banks, lenders will typically want to see you get to around 18 months before they can really take the lending ask seriously. Okay, so what's when it comes to what are they looking for with some of that information that, that you're presenting to them for sure so uh, first and foremost the financial piece you want to have your documents in a row you can almost guarantee they're going to ask to look to see something on your financial position so um, have you prepared your tax statements or do you have prepared financial statements internal statements are good as well um, some asks are going to need a cash flow projection um, and some banks will even use you know last 12 months of bank statements but you got to have something in order what yeah. about the type of business uh, there's going to be different asks for sole proprietors, corporations, yeah. partnerships, but generally across the board, similar asks uh, from a financial I, I'm even let's saying, let's say a retail business to a restaurant to, yeah. uh, to um, I don't know, um, a lawn company, uh, Absolutely. a snow removal company, you know what I mean? Does it, does it differ when it comes to that? Yeah, the financial side? we see it all because, you know, the credit ask is going to be different based on the industry or what you're trying to accomplish. And so lenders are experienced to know, hey, this industry is going to have to produce this or uh, this credit ask you're going to want to more so showcase this element of your business. Um, so it's different, but um, you know, have a chat with your bank first and, and, and it'll help prepare you for what you want to bring to the table for your specific business. Or what about even talking to other people in, in, in your world, in your type of business that you're in and what they've done? Yeah, I mean, uh, people who have been successful in their industries, uh, you know, they're your, your colleagues in many ways. Uh, so if you're in the hospitality scene and you, you can look to a business that's done well, been around five, ten years, have a chat with them, right? They're going to know some tics, tips and tricks, and they've had a chat with their bank as well. So, yeah, lean into that as a business owner. But what about actual personal presentation? Well, well, even even what you present like yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, your business is an extension of you. So, you know, the lender or the bank's going to be looking to you to see the likelihood that your your um, you know business is going to make good on the debt that it's trying to take on to grow there. So, uh, personal credit, you know, keep that in order. I know uh, it can be tough, but uh, you know, talk to your bank ahead of time if you feel your credit's in a tough spot. They'll work with you to get you where you need. And uh, yeah, there's no shame in having that conversation. Any other advice? One more piece of advice when it comes to that? Timing. Uh, uh, no lender wants to work under a sense of urgency. If you need the money in three days, it's going to be tough. Come to them ahead of time. Build that relationship, right? I want to build, uh, purchase a building in a year or, you know, I want to uh, do this project in three months. They'll help build a plan. They'll honor that proactively. And uh, it, it's going to really help, you, you know, your chances of succeeding in that conversation. Because it is, it is a partnership. Um, good, stuff, uh, good, cuff, good stuff, uh, Collins, here from uh, First Ontario. Uh, email your questions or topic that you want uh, Colin to cover on um, Finance Friday. Uh, Finance Friday at firstontario.com. If your question or topic is selected to be covered on air, you'll receive a gift card from First Ontario.